Happy Thursday. We're up and at them this morning at 8.15. Well, it was supposed to be 8.15. It's now like close to 8.30, but we're going to build a bear at Caden Mills Mall because today is pay your age for this little girl. <laughs> so we're super excited about getting a Build-A-Bear for a dollar. So we'll check back up with y'all. This is seriously the line for Build-A-Bear and I'm about to join in. That's how much of a freak I am. We're still walking for the line. Don't even know if it's worth it, but... What I'll, if it is? Look, I'll buy her a build a bear. No. A full price. No. Tomorrow. No. It's part of history. Okay, so update. Just walked around the mall for 45 minutes. And we stood in line for like 25 minutes. And then they came out and they said that there were literally like 4,000 people. And they cut our part of the line. So there was no way you are going to get a bear today. So you could have a voucher for 15 bucks off a bear from tomorrow to August 1st. But we just kind of decided now it's not even worth it. We're oh, leaving in defeat. It's horrible. Y'all don't even understand how excited I was. My Facebook was popping with me but sharing tell, that. Tell them about the teenagers. Oh yeah, but then we're walking down because me and me and mom wanted to see like, all right, we want to walk down to build a bear, see how and we want to see how crazy it is in that store. And as I'm walking, there's straight up teenagers. Like some of these chicks looked older than me even, like carrying a bear, and you knew they weren't moms or. Whatever, I guess they could, they could be ants maybe, but still, they had bears, and I'm just like, oh, that's annoying. But mom did bring up a good point. Thank God Kinsey is not old enough to understand what we were doing today, because there were some people over there with, you know, like four and five-year-olds that I'm sure will be yelled at later for not getting their bear. But So now we're on our way to get gas, because, again, I'm out of gas, like usual, and then we're going to Jersey Mike's. <sighs> Sucks. Need to refuel. Look at this yeah. Goliath. Me and mom sharing this. It's a lot cheaper than buying two regular subs. Here's Kinsey. Little blueberries and veggie snacks. I'll give her some of my sandwich if you want some. And let's not forget, we had to get our desserts. You just <laughs> can't go to Jersey Mike's without a brownie and a brownie cookie. to feed a rebel we feed him twice a day just this morning was really hectic so better late than never right at noon but you guys you can soon see hi rebel yeah so he's still kind of skinny but if you guys remember our very first vlog he was like bones a stack of bones bag bones whatever you want to call it now he's getting a little bit of his figure back, which is really good. See that? He's looking much better. Our old man's coming back to life. I'm green. Um, Kenzie's inside with her Grammy while I unload the car because we brought the trike, um, her little cooler bag that had her bottled milk, you know, blueberries and stuff, little snacks for them all. Whew, it is hot. So I just told mom, get in there with the baby, get some air on. For some reason, Nick's truck, the air conditioning isn't as strong. Like you can still feel the cold air. It's just not blowing as good. So there's something going on with the blower, I'm sure. I'll have Nick look at it when he gets home. I admire God's beauty. I mean, if that doesn't just portray God's beauty, I just don't, I just don't know what does. Whew, don't you let him finish his pail of food and you not be there because he's no longer that cute little old man that just follows you back into the gate. He wants you to chase him. So now out here in like 106 degree weather, 90% humidity, I need to go find this darn horse. Stay tuned. Just the freaking thought of that snake skin. 
We have so many cotton mouths over here, which is hence why I need to go put my boots on to go get that horse. Look at them. Gosh. I got the old man waiting for Bella to go pee. Scout's trying. Scout! Oh, I'm telling you. Like a madhouse over here. Go on, Bell. Finally got the other horse. Whew. I'm about dead. Oh. This is life. Getting all that baby stuff out of there, man. I'm telling you. A little day trip. You seem to pack the whole world when you have babies. So anyway, for the rest of the day, I'm going to run inside, you know, play with Kenzie, try to see what she wants for a bigger lunch, because she only kind of snacked when we were at Jersey Mike's, and then put her down for a nap, and then I'm going to go, and you guys will probably see in our next couple of videos, me and Nick are kind of trying to figure out our lives and where we want to move forward, and when we want to move forward. Um, as you all know, we do rent from my mom, and it was to you know, um, save some money, either for a house or an apartment or something. Um, the part of Texas that we live in, it's really expensive property tax and it's kind of an affluent part of Texas. So they have no pity on younger couples. And, um, you know, the whole reason is because we are a single income family. We wouldn't trade it for the world. It just, it just adds a little bit more struggle and a little bit more pre-planning and budgeting. So I'm going to run inside and I'm going to figure out our budget. And I think later on this week for one of our next uploads, uh, me and Nick will kind of go more into detail with y'all of what our thoughts are, what our thought processes is, and try to help anyone who else is kind of going through the same thing at our age, trying to figure out where to go from here. Um, so it's like a lot that we need to pray about, a lot that we need to figure out, but we just need to remember to lean on God because he has the answers to everything. And it might not necessarily be the answers that we like to hear or, the time frame that we like to hear either but we just need to put trust in God and have him direct us just keep praying that he directs us and that his mercy and his grace is in our lives and in decisions that we make for our small family so with that being said I'm going to probably just close out the vlog here and remember to subscribe to our channel if you're new if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave a comment and make sure you turn on that notification bell so you're the first ones to know when we post again um but yeah we'll probably have another vlog up in the next three or four days and I'm hoping that maybe me and Nick can sit down and talk to y'all. Let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you guys would like to see. I know a lot of people are kind of anxious for a Q&A with me and Nick. Um, our relationship is pretty private. We don't really put it out there on social media. Um, so if there's any questions or just any comments that y'all want us to read out loud on video, you know, just let us know. Leave us a comment. Um, DM us on our Instagram that you'll see at the end page. And remember to let your faith be as big as Texas. Bye, y'all.